I do know what you're saying. It's just, I, I don't know what you want from me. Okay, now you're a tough as nails businesswoman who's had to break a lot of glass ceilings and a lot of balls. Go. Oh, I know perfectly well what you are saying, gentlemen, but I don't know what it is that you could possibly want from me. Okay, now you're Dora the Explorer. Go. I do know what you're saying, but I don't know what you want from me. Okay, good. It's all about relationships. And I don't just mean the romantic kind. I mean any kind of interaction with other people. The more you have, the more you open yourselves up to. The more you experience, the more experience you can draw upon for the stage. Don't lock yourselves in your own little worlds. Say hello to the little old man shuffling down the aisle at the grocery store. Strike up a conversation with the bus driver and learn about his job. Heck, ask that cutie in line at the coffee shop out to lunch. Go out there and live a little. Do something spontaneous. Just go with it and don't constantly stop to overthink. Open yourselves up and see where it takes you. Hey! hey. Oh, it's so great to see you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm running a little bit late. Come on in. Uh, no, no big deal. You know everyone's late to Desha's parties oh. anyway. <laughs> uh, I just, just get so unorganized when I have big projects going on. I'm rehearsing two plays right now, and I actually have a steady retail job that pays now. Oh, and you have to meet my manager, Parker. He's so great. So, anyways, with all this stuff going on, I really haven't had much time to, to be home and pick things up. It's so unorganized. I, it's a mess. I can't find anything. That's right. Uh, how's the acting thing going? It's good. Uh, I can't believe I'm in two shows right now. And I have an audition for a commercial next week. How about that, huh? Wow, that's great. So, where have you been, anyway? I. I miss you. I feel like I never see you anymore. And every time I call you to see if you want to get lunch or a coffee or something, you're never around. Or Are you like crazy busy or something? No, not really. Uh, I mean, I am busy. Just uh, busy. You know? Oh. Where did I put my necklace? Oh. A cool painting. Oh yeah, you like it? I did it when I broke up with my boyfriend. I got tired of hearing myself sob uncontrollably all the time, so I decided I needed a change, you know? I thought the most immediate thing I could change was my environment, so I went down to the art store, picked up a few cans of paint and some sponges, and went nuts. Finished the whole thing in like two hours, like a painter possessed. <laughs> Cece, you uh, broke up with your boyfriend? Yeah, a few months ago. I guess I haven't seen you in a while, huh? I guess. Uh, so, did the painting help? It did. It felt better knowing that this was something new. Something that he hadn't seen the hundreds of times he's been here with me. It felt good to have something that he wasn't a part of, you know? It was something fresh, you know? Although I also quit my job, got several others, and completely turned my life upside down. So I guess I'm just oozing with freshness and change right now. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, it's funny. I mean, I just kind of assumed you were still with your boyfriend. I mean, if I knew you were available, I... Uh, Cece, if I knew you were available, I, I would have asked you out weeks ago. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was in the oh, closet oh. getting my shoes. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, it's a, mm. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I think when you lean forward like that, I can see right down your shirt. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I wasn't even thinking. No, no, no. It's okay. I like it. What? Uh, I like it. You do? Uh. I like you. You do? I do. Whoa, 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 where is this coming from? From the past two years, CC. And from about five minutes ago when you told me you broke up with your boyfriend. I thought 
you were mad at me or something. The past oh. couple of months, it felt like oh. you've been avoiding me. I, I have been avoiding you. If, if I had to smell your hair every time the wind blew by, or have to hold your hand to help you over that broken part of the sidewalk, or listen to one more story about how your boyfriend doesn't or didn't appreciate you, I just couldn't take it anymore. Is this? Don't worry about it. It's just my cast iron skillet. But wh wh why do you have a cast iron skillet under your pillow? In case somebody comes in in the middle of the night. What are you gonna do? Make him an omelet? No, I'd whack him over the head with it. The thing weighs a ton. Oh, well, that's a very interesting protection plan. Do you really want to talk about my skillet right now? Well, I'm a little intrigued while you're sleeping with cookware, but... Wait until you see what's under the sheets. It's all about relationships. The more you have, the more you open yourselves up to. Go out there and live a little. Do something spontaneous. Just go with it and don't constantly stop and overthink. Open yourselves up and see where it takes you.